Hello everyone. On today's video, I'm going to show you guys some recent TTM returns that I got back. So let's get started. The first one took 18 days and the person signed three or three for me. And that person would be, I'm getting him out of the envelope. It is former Penn State and Miami Dolphins player, Mr. Otis James McDuffie. We call him OJ for short. Now, while at Penn State, Mr. McDuffie set several single season and career receiving records. He was also the 1992 Fiesta Bowl MVP. Now, while at Penn State, not only did he play football, he also played baseball. And he holds the single game record for stolen bases for Penn State with four in a game. He was actually drafted by the Angels in the 41st round of the 1991 baseball draft. But he decided not to play baseball. He decided to stick with football where he was drafted in the first round of the 1993 NFL draft by the Miami Dolphins. While in Miami, he actually became known as Dan Marino's favorite receiver. His 415 receptions are fourth all-time in Dolphins history. He actually led the NFL with 90 catches in 1998. He also, in 1998, was the first player in NFL history to have at least 90 catches and 10 punt returns in a season without a fumble. There are only two players that have caught more passes than O.J. McDuffie from Dan Marino. And they were Mark Clayton and Mark Duper. He played for the Mr. McDuffie played for the Dolphins from 1993 to 2001, where his career ended because he had a, a toe injury. So for his career, Mr. McDuffie had 415 receptions for 5,074 yards and 29 TDs. He also had. 2,103 kick return yards where he also scored two TDs. This is Mr. O.J. McDuffie, former Penn State great and Miami Dolphin. So we'll put that one there. We'll set this one down. And we'll set this one up here for Mr. Tony Black. There you go, Mr. Tony Black. There's your uh, Miami Dolphin. Great. So next one up. It took 14 days, and the person signed 4-4 four, four for me. And that would be Mr. Steve Christie. Now, Mr. Christie, he went undrafted out of William & Mary in 1990. He played for several teams, including the Buccaneers, the Bills, Chargers, the Giants, and he also played for the Toronto Argonauts. While playing, he received his own, or I should say he didn't receive, he recovered his own onside kick to become the first player ever to do that. So he kicked the ball and then he recovered it, which is pretty cool. In 1993, he set the Bills record by kicking a 59-yard field goal. In Super Bowl 28, he kicked a 54-yard field goal, which is currently the longest in Super Bowl history. Another fun fact, he is tied with Jason Elam and Jim Breach with the most field goals in overtime with nine. Now for his career, he kicked 336 field goals out of 431. 431 for a 780 percentage. On extra points, he kicked 468 out of 473 for a 989 percentage. For his career, he, he had 1,476 points, which is 25th all time. And this is Mr. Steve Christie. Put that one there. Put this one over here. I'll put that one right there. Uh, we'll set it off to the side here. And there's the other one, the gold card. 
I like the gold card one. We'll set that one up here. So, I have one last one. Okay, this one took 24 days, and the person signed two or two. And this would be... Mr. Cliff Harris. One of my all-time cowboy favorites. Now, the, the thing about Mr. Cliff Harris, he actually went undrafted in a 1970 draft. And he actually beat out the third round draft choice that year, which was Charlie Waters, who he, he eventually teamed up with to form one of the top safety duos, duos in the 70s. He actually, Mr. Harris, wore um, place kicker uh, pads so that he could keep his speed and quickness. So instead of wearing regular pads, he decided he just wanted to wear place kicker pads. I guess it made him faster. Now, when, he, when Mr. Harris played for the Cowboys... The defense ranked in the top 10 every year that he was in the lineup. He is only one of 13 players to ever play in five Super Bowls. And for his career, he was a two-time Super Bowl champ, a six-time Pro Bowler, four-time first-team All-Pro. Uh, he, he was a one-time second-team All-Pro. And he was voted to the 1970s All-Decade team. He's also in the Cowboys Ring of Honor. For his career, he had 29 interceptions and he scored one TD off of an interception. He actually had 66 punts returned for 418 yards. And he also had 1,622 kick return yards. So I'm hoping Mr. Harris uh, will make it to the Hall of Fame. Uh, he's very des deserving of being in the Hall of Fame, just like a lot of other players are. So this is Mr. Cliff Harris. And there's Cowboys card he signed for me, and he also signed, I don't know how well you guys could see it, the Pro Set Super Bowl insert card when the Cowboys beat the Broncos 27-10. to 10. So... That's all I have for today, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I want to thank Mr. Cliff Harris, Mr. Steve Christie, Mr. Otis James McDuffie for signing these cards for me and getting them back to me. And I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Just remember, keep collecting, keep searching for those hidden gems, and keep having fun. Later.